Welcome to Ancrum Laboratory where we explore the fascinating world of chromatography. Today, we will introduce you to our HPTLC Pro system. A powerful tool used for precise and efficient analysis of substances. In today's video we will be looking at plate storage, application, and development modules in HPTLC Pro system. Today we will be doing a live demonstration of Acacia Gum on our Comeg HPTLC Pro system. HPTLC Pro is an automated system which has extraordinary capabilities of autonomous application, development, detection and mass spectroscopy. Acacia Gum has been employed in medicines as a demulcent, or topical treatment for wound healing. Studies have been done on the effects of antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, and lipidemia. Getting system ready, plate storage module has two sections. One is clean and processed. As the name says, clean plate section contains clean plates which are ready for analysis. And processed plate contains plates which are done with analysis or which are waiting for next module to be freed for analysis. After placing new plate in the system let's add samples and references in the application module. The preparations of the references is mentioned in the subtitles below. Please pause the video and check out the preparations. After placing all the references and samples in respective tray, let's add mobile phase. Let's start with our analysis. As we can see the application has started. References and sample are applied evenly throughout the application area. Using a 10 microliter syringe and with the help of dedicated laser system. The plate travels with the help of Conver belt system. System's internal temperature is always maintained at constant temperature. The following analysis requires double development. The first development consists of parameters such as pre-drying a plate which was kept at 30 seconds. MGCL2 was used for activation of plate for 10 minutes. Preconditioning was carried out with mobile phase. Water receipt or nitrile in the ratio of 15 by 85 for 10 minutes. Then the development was done in mobile phase as water receipt or nitrile in the ratio of 15 by 85. And the plate was dried for 10 minutes. The second development was subjected to parameters such as pre drying, which was done for 10 seconds. After which it was developed in water receipt or nitrile in the ratio of 15 by 85. And then the plate is dried for 10 minutes. The plate was then derivatized with aniline diphenylamine phosphoric acid. Here's the plate image with individual RF tips marked. And here's the image after analysis was performed with ADP reagent. We can see clear separation of sugars and also well resolved bands. More videos about detection and derivatization modules coming soon. Thank you for your kind attention. Please feel free to reach out to us on following platforms.